Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be changing the front uh, brake disc, brake caliper, brake pads and uh, the guide pins on uh, this uh, Mitsubishi Outlander. This particular model is 2011 and the reason why we are changing it is that we're getting the excessive vibration when we press the brake at high speed. That's the reason why we want to change it. Also the disc is a bit uh, worn out. Uh, just gonna show you the new caliper which is here new brake disc new pads right here are the guide pins two new one okay uh, and also we've got new uh, brake pad clips so to start off we were gonna push the piston back a bit so for that what we're gonna use is we're gonna use this angle chisel There we go, so that's good enough. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these two 17 mil bolts. So these are the guide pins itself. Then we're gonna remove this bolt here, which is 14 mil bolt. Once we remove the caliper, we'll have to remove the clamp here, this one here, which is holding the brake pads and the caliper once this is all taken off the disc gonna come off we're just gonna slacken the brake pipe bolt here and then once the caliper is off then we're gonna take it off so it's a 14 mil socket we need to use and the ratchet make sure you don't use uh, power tools on it there we go so just slacken the off a bit not too much we're gonna leave a pot underneath so that we can collect all the spillage now we're gonna remove the guide pin bolts two of them 17 mil bolts for that i'm gonna use the power tool There we go. So see the difference. Uh, the top pin is just a plain pin. The bottom one has got a groove where the rubber goes on top here. But on this guide pin, the rubber is already deteriorated. So it's uh, deteri deteriorated inside the caliper clamp. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is that uh, we're going to just uh, use the angle chisel to pull the caliper out completely. There we go. So the next we're going to remove the clamp itself. So before we remove the clamp, we're just going to remove the brake pads. These pads seem okay, but uh, they are old and a kind of a uh, bit uh, worn out and got some cracks on them so the next uh, we're gonna remove the clamp itself the way we're gonna remove the clamp is uh, we're gonna use uh, a 17 mil socket and a breaker bar There we go. There we go. Just slacken it off. Just gonna remove the top one now. I mean slacken off the top one. There we go. So once you slacken it off, then we can just use uh, the impactor. There we go. So that's the top one out of the way. And the bottom one, there we go. So that's the clamp out of the way. Okay, now we're gonna give it a couple of blows uh, onto the disc to release the disc from the hub. Okay, so here we go. I've got a copper mallet here.
bit seized. That's the oldest cat out of the way. So the next thing we're going to do before we put, put in new disc is that we're going to clean the surface with the wire brush. Good enough. Here comes the new disc. Just line up the studs. There we go. So that's the disc nicely going back in. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these gators off, off the caliper clamp. Both of them. There we go. Pass that out of the way. Then we're gonna clean the inside of this, uh, these two holes where the gu guide pins gonna go in. I've uh, cleaned the holes where the guide pins gonna slide. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these old clips. So once we remove these, bottom one and the top one, we're going to give it a good clean with the wire brush and then we're going to put in new clips which we've got here these ones right so just going to clean the area where we're going to fit the new clips that's good enough Same on this side. That's good enough. So I'm just gonna slide in the caliper clamp. Two bolts. One at the top here. And the bottom one. So that's that uh, nicely secured, the clamp. Just gonna torque it up. There we go. That's good enough. Same at the top. So just gonna clean the, the disc itself and uh, the clamp with the brake cleaner. to remove the wax off the disc so the manufacturer always uh, apply wax on it to protect it from the rust so that's that done so next we're gonna fit the clamps in so the way clamps goes in is like this okay there we go so that's the bottom clamp fully home and now we're going to do the top one. So the very top one goes in is like this. Okay. So these are the new brake pad clips. Nicely fitted. So the next thing we're going to do before we slide in the brake pads is to fit these gaiters. Like this. Okay. Uh, one here like this nice and easy the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off uh, this uh, 14 mil nut here to disengage the brake pipe and we're gonna fit it here so just taking the dust cap off I'm gonna use these uh, 
adjustable pliers to restrict the fluid from leaking out just like that okay so the next we're gonna quickly undo the 14 mil volt we're gonna use uh, a new copper washer to go here the caliper new caliper comes in place like this so just remember to put it in this groove before tightening it Uh, okay for now and then we're gonna talk up later once the caliper is fully secured so that's the new caliper is nicely fitted to the brake pipe so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fit new brake pads the one with the this metal piece taking out is the inner one just gonna check it first so this is how it slides in outer one is just a plain one it doesn't have any clips sticking out but before we place them in we're gonna apply copper grease on these uh, edges here the legs on both sides so a little bit copper grease on the legs here on both sides same on this side and then here a little bit not too much so just gonna slide it in here like this and then same for the inner one this little bit grease here here and then these points here perfect and then we're just gonna slide it in that's all nicely done so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply grease on these guide pins again this is to stop it from sticking or seizing okay so the bottom one has got this rubber which goes up here like this again copper grease make sure you apply plenty onto these pins Perfect. Perfect. So here comes the caliper. So I'm gonna slide it in here like this. So I'm gonna slide in the pin from the from the rubber gator here. Then the top guide pin goes in from there. Okay. Right, so just gonna tighten the bolts which are securing the caliper to the clamp. There we go, that's the top one nicely scared. Good enough so the last bit we need to do is we need to uh, loosen this uh, uh, bleeder nipple and then pump the brake three times so what you do is you uh, press the brake pedal one two three and hold and then um, tighten this uh, bleeder nipple make sure that uh, you got enough brake fluid in the brake uh, fluid bottle and then you need to go inside the car start the car up you need to press the brake three times so that is uh, how you bleed the brake caliper, new brake caliper. So what you do is one, 
press it down once, twice, and when you press it third time, press and hold. And that's when uh, uh, basically it's two person's job. So one person needs to press and hold the third time. That is the brake pedal I'm on about. And then uh, one person needs to tighten this uh, bleed the nipple. And that's how you uh, bleed the nipple. So if the fluid doesn't come out, uh, you just repeat the procedure a couple of times till the fluid reaches the caliper, new caliper. And that's how you bleed the caliper. Okay, so you need to make sure that all the air is out of the system because we have disturbed the brake pipe by removing it. Okay, so that is the procedure for bleeding the caliper. So before I uh, try to bleed the nipple, um, just gonna make sure that uh, the brake pipe bolt here is nicely secured. So that was the 14 mil bolt. All right, I've uh, tightened the bolt here. All the components are nicely secured. So it's uh, just the brake uh, caliper bleeding process which we need to do. So I already mentioned you how to bleed the brake caliper so here we go friends job done thank you very much for watching the video